All right, today we are back in the kitchen. I love just kitchen. She's actually cleaning cup holders. <laughs> that has absolutely nothing to do with this video. Is. No, not at all. We had a big cleaning day today, all the way to the point where she's cleaning the cup holders from our couch. So that's where we're at. I should do more often. Or maybe it's just me that doesn't do it often enough. I should do it more often. If you have cup holders that are removable in your couch, this is your this is your warning. This is your PSA. It's time to clean them. <laughs> No, we're back in the kitchen, but today we're freeze drying. So I think it was HOA that this lady gave yes. us one of us. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. We've met a lot of people, but I remember this. She made us, or she brought us caramel apple freeze dried, freeze dried caramel apples. Freeze dried uh, apples with caramel. That's on better. There. That's better. <laughs> so I wanted to show you all how to do it because I've loved these. They are like the greatest little snack ever. Um, and so we're going to make some together. Hey, what was that? Oh, Let's see. Don't show people show how nasty we are. Show them, honey. We ain't nasty. That's what came out of the cup. <laughs> are you? Gosh darn, that's it's gross. It's like dust. I don't know. That's gross, honey. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we are using a green apple. Um, these are a little bit older, um, so this is a way to preserve them because they've kind of passed the point to where you want them to just eat. So that'll be good for freeze dried. So we're gonna use just whatever is remaining in here. We're gonna slice them up into little slices. My job here is done. Her job here is done. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're looking for. It's about that length. That way we can put some caramel right on top there. All right, now that we got them all cut up, we are gonna start placing them on our Harvest Right trays. FYI, if you're new to this, go ahead and get that freeze dryer cooling down. It takes at least 15 minutes to cool down before you can start actually doing your freeze drying. So for these, you wanna give them a little space. You don't, definitely don't wanna overcrowd, which is the rule for anything, freeze drying. But we're gonna, we're gonna be adding caramel to this. Um, you want to give yourself some room to, to work with and not get caramel everywhere, you know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, babe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give them to the animals. Well, it completely dries it. It's very easy to clean off. You know what I'm saying? Find my chrome. Yeah. Thanks, honey. <sighs> All right, we got everything on our trays, and we are using this caramel. Use whatever you want, but I do highly recommend that it has a squeeze top. So instead of like having to drizzle it, um, it's going to help with mess, and it's going to aesthetically make it look better once it's freeze dried. Um, I assume that's what the lady did. They gave me some because it looked perfect. So we're not going to use a whole lot because the caramel is going to blow up um, some on here. And that's what we want it to be, but we don't want it to be so much that it overpowers the apple. So let's see how big of a mess I make here. And for those of you that uh, just said what my wife said, um, was put parchment paper down mm -hmm. first. Definitely a solid option. You can definitely do that to make your trays not so dirty when it comes out. However, it does really dry them and it's pretty easy to scrape things off. So let's see how this is going to work. Oh, that's nice. That's very easy. I really like the squeeze bottle. I'm talking to you, honey. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the squeeze bottle is really making it easy. If I had to use a fork or a knife or a spoon or something, yeah, this would be awful. Nice. All right, we have been, well, that's funny, 16 minutes. How about that? Perfect. Perfect. That caramel's a little runny. All right, what is that, three trays? Yep, three trays. Cool. Um, okay, so, you can get in there, okay. <laughs> she's, she's working, we're both working in the kitchen. 
Um, the caramel was pretty runny, so it already ran, it kind of already ran down the, the apples. Um, I don't know if maybe, I mean, caramel's runny, but I don't, you know what? I bet you she used caramel candy. That's like solid. Maybe. That you can just stick on it. Maybe. Cause hers was perfectly puffed yeah. right on top of the apple. And ours is not going to be. <laughs> ours is definitely not because it, it all kind of was running on the sides. I bet you that's what it was. I don't know. Either way, it might not be visually as good as what we saw before, uh, but it's going to taste good. Yeah, I can guess. Yeah, it's just for us. So, as we always do, put your guess. This is uh, three trays of apples with caramel sauce on them. How long, full process, to freeze dry? Mm. 17 hours. 17 hours. See, I was at 18. I was mm. at 18, so we're pretty close. So, I, I say 18. She says 17. Put down in the comments what you think. These were not pre-froze, so they gotta go through the freezing process first too, and then freeze dry. Put your guesses down below. We'll see, is this close? And you know, with the leftovers, we could easily make some apple cider vinegar, but we made a bunch of that. Um, so we got the cores and then some of the little pieces. And this time, it's gonna go to the animals. Let's call them down. Bessie, here you go. Bessie. Bessie's that big old pig right there, right behind the turkey. Walling her up down there. You're always the fastest, Benny, we know that. <laughs> Benny, quit. Ah, losing it. Come back over here, Lucy. Come here. Oh, you dropped it. All right, while that's going, what are you doing, hon? So we um, we smoked two of our whole chickens and we spatchcocked them. So we took the backs out and then I, have, I kept the carcasses. So I'm getting some broth going now so we can have for the week for rices or whatever we decide to make. So I've got the carcasses in the back in there I've got just water, salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning. I'm putting in freeze dried onions and I'm going to throw in um, a couple bay leaves and then that's it because when I took the carcasses out, I could still smell the seasoning that was on them plus the smoke at least when we smoked them. So it's got all kinds of flavor. So I don't need to add a, a bunch of stuff. Um, but this is an end spot. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's it an Enzo Pie. Oh, it's an Enzo Pie. It's like, um, what do you call those other things? Slow cooker. Crock pot. Crock pot. I hate crock pots. Why is it not working? Technical difficulties. We're moving to a different spot. Well, we had a tragedy go down a few weeks ago. Yeah, right after Bad Pass came out, fridge, electrical, oh, all that stuff. Part kitchen outlet, so yeah. we can use this side now and I'll still forget that. Yeah, alright, so what, where were you? You. This is an instant pot, not a crock pot. But you can turn an instant pot on slow cooking, right? Yes. Okay. I don't like crock pots. Because of Jack? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to hit slow cook, Which manual. Which are my? What are you getting here, woman? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put it on lots of hours because we'll probably let it go for about 24 hours. So we're going to start there and we want to be on low temperature, not high. What? Keep warm is on. Continue. Okay. There you go. There you go. And because we always get asked, especially pressure cookers, it seems like that's when everybody starts asking, like, what is that? Where'd you get yours? Um, it'll be linked down below. It's really good. We really like it. It is not Instapot brand. <laughs> um, it is a different brand. And it has its own app, and you can actually, like, do it on your app, and it communicates with it. That's uh, pretty cool. So I'll have it down below if you're interested. All right, the caramel apples are done. 
I can tell by just seeing it from here, they're not turning out exactly how I had pictured in my head, but that's okay. This shit still tastes good. It took 20 hours. Oh my gosh. Let's see. <laughs> Great. Tastes like caramel apple. Tastes like caramel apple. Might not look like greatest thing in the world, come here, babe. No, I heard you could talk to Dang on flat. There you go. Oh my god, it went all down everything. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Do you like it? Mm hmm. Tastes like caramel apple, don't it? Yeah. Like I said, we knew it wasn't going to look great, but it tastes good. <laughs> All right, so that made, we just put it in a gallon uh, bag that we have here because these are just going to be snacks for us and the kids, so they'll go quick. So we're not gonna put them in mylar bags and save them up. They won't go that long. Like I said, I know it doesn't look overly appealing. However, it tastes exactly like the other ones that we had. It tastes like a caramel apple. They're really good. Harvest Rice probably like, man, why did we work with them? <laughs> <laughs> do they do any research? No, no. we don't. And that's, that's the, we actually have fun doing that. So like when we cook or if we make things, if we get an idea from something, we try to recreate it in our own way. Mm -hmm. So like we don't watch videos on how other people did things and stuff. And so mm -hmm. we like to be like, well, we learn by experiences. It's experiment. Yeah. So I would say if you did this, either try to find a caramel candy of some form or put your caramel in the fridge to where it'll be, it'll last longer or something. I don't know, because when we did it, it just ran on to the bottom of the apple. And then that's why. Maybe did. freeze your apples first and then. Something. Use parchment paper. You definitely need something. Yeah. <laughs> you need something to keep that caramel on top because that's how they do it. It's like right there perfectly on top of the apple. Um, so somehow you got to get that coater and last until the freeze dryer freezes it. I don't know or something. But it tastes really Fine. good. Yeah. I mean, if you want to spice up just freeze dried apples because those are good too, this is a great way to do it by using um, the caramel and making caramel apples. Not overly unhealthy. You know, we're still adding an apple into the mix of things. Yeah. Whatever. Um, for record, like we always get asked, we have the medium sized uh, Harvest Right freeze dryer with the premium oil pump. Um, we do not see crazy increases in the energy bill whatsoever. It works about as much as the fridge does. So kind of keep that in mind for electrical bills. All that's linked down below that if you're inter interested. Mm -hmm. And do you have anything else that you would like to add? My broth is still going. Oh yeah, the broth's still going. It smells really good. And you saw our first zinnias of the year yeah. that we uh, made a bouquet out of. So that was pretty cool. But hope you all enjoyed the videos. Throw us a thumbs up, give us a like, maybe a comment or two, and we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Until the next one. Thanks. Bye. Cat, well, right there at the end. <laughs>